All right. You know what I think the most baffling thing is about these Clemson fans and my mentions and coming at my DMs and all that about the, the whole drug, the whole doping, osterine thing? Like, just be the bad guy. Just be the bad guy and say, you know what? Screw it. Our guys took drugs and we still won the national title. We didn't even need them. Like, the whole – Clemson, this is why we're laughing at you slash it is an embarrassment because – You keep defend, 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 defend. Like, the excuses are so bad. The contamination theories, the conspiracy theories. Like, just embrace being the bad guy. Listen, if South Carolina had guys caught for the same thing, I would say the same exact thing. Those guys are fucking idiots, and they should be whatever. Kicked off the team, whatever. Like, they're fucking idiots. They took illegal drugs, period, point blank. Their food didn't get contaminated. Their drinks didn't get contaminated. They knowingly took an illegal substance. Because as a college athlete, you have to be an idiot, an idiot, to take an illegal substance and get caught. You have to be. They literally cross-check everything you take. Every supplement, everything you eat, everything is regulated. Everything. Clemson, do yourselves a favor. Stop being the holier-than-thou crowd and just embrace being the bad guys, the bad boys of college football. Hey, screw it. We took drugs, got away with it, won the national title. That's all we're asking. Just stop feeding us this bullshit behind what you think or say happened. Lie detector tests, contamination, conspiracy theories, stop. Stop. You're the best team in college football, one of the best. Embrace it. Embrace being the bad guy. That's all we're saying.